mates, brothers, and other ocean goers. Today, I want to start a new thing. I want to try something new. Coming week, I want to try just playing an hour of the game, seeing where that takes us, and then just doing some very light editing. You know what I mean? Just like once a day, one hour of gameplay. Something like that. No guarantees though. You guys know how I am. I'll just be playing normal. I just want a chill game. From the thumbnail, you've probably seen that this city is going to be hexagonal, right? As for the species, our themes would be easy, but they're more like ants. And ants, they don't really, they don't make, well, maybe they do, I don't know. I'm not an, I'm not an entomologist. That's the right word, right? Dex Hamilton, yeah. That's the one. So we'll just go with humans. I don't think these guys are particularly bee-like, are they? Maybe telepies? They like living in forests. That's where bees are found, right? <laughs> Good lord. Alright, now for the titles, we'll just pick everything that we want. Instead of breakover chains, actually we're gonna get the great, because it has more happiness, right? And for the fifth title, I was thinking Richest of Kings. Because proximity, I think that changes how much the things are, like cost. Tariffs and stuff. Deflation obviously reduces your inflation. So we'll look at that. Yeah, should be right. 69%. Generate. And it looks like we have a couple of oceans, a couple of seas, right? North or south. Oh gosh, I feel like. Oh, actually, where are the resources? There's some really good resources there. I wanted to make an island. And this looks a bit inappropriate. <laughs> yeah, I wanted to make an island and it should be near some resources. Maybe we should do a northern start for once. There's a nice little resource hub there, yeah, right here. We'll put in our own little island. I think a hexagon kind of looks like that, right? So if you use clear... There we go. Yeah, surely that's a hexagon. As for the ground... I'm gonna go with five. So the fifth ground, right? Because... If you go one and you spam it like this, it actually changes the fertility. So 77%. If you go five, 45% fertility, right? There's a hexagon. I mean, it's the closest I'm ever gonna get to having a hexagon in this game. My friends helped me out a lot with coming up with the design of the Diagonal city. What? Why is that? Is that a mountain or is that like dead forest? Dead trees? Actually, I, I kind of don't want a bunch of forest. Yeah, we want just... Uh, maybe a few patches like... Like that. Something like that, yeah. Now, for which side to drop? Probably here. The reason I'm not putting mountain is it's because it's gonna get in the way of the hexagon, right? Hexagonal city. Angus Ocean. Perfect. Oh, these guys are weak. 
My immediate neighbors are super weak. Actually, I think this one is huge. Erlen crowns, yeah. They're probably going to munch all of this. Actually, this, this belongs to someone. Okay. Well, we have very, like, three very weak neighbors here. That'd be nice. And this is, like, that's a very nice settlement. Look at all the ore. If we take this, we can industrialize for days, right? Every close. Is that part of this? Oh, my. These guys are traveling. Anyway, this is Oceania. Actually, we should probably rename it to like what? Like Hexagonia? Hexagonia? <laughs> I'm not good with coming up with names, so. You guys have a suggestion, make sure you leave it. Decent amount of forest. There's only one entrance, which is really good. And this is all the. This is all the ground wall that we have. It's natural, because all of this is obviously salt water, seawater. It's not good for growing anything, right? Therefore, underwater aquarium, like plants, but you can't really eat those. At least, not in this game. This is the one entrance, I think. Maybe we should spawn here-ish? Because the bounty of the sea is going to be plenty. For us, there's plenty of- actually, there's a lot of open land. Let's take a look at the fertility. You can grow some stuff here. This is... Very... Like, dead, right? There's like nothing here. As for the trees, I guess we can just cut down these, yeah. How about the fish? Lots and lots of fish along the coastline. So yeah, I reckon right there. But where do we want to start the grid? Probably want to start it down here-ish. We can expand westwards. You know what? Boom. Let's plop it down right there. Now, as you guys know, I've already made... I've already made several guides, and I always forget every single time what to start with, but this time... I'll just take it slow, right? Actually think about it, so a hearth, obviously, so they don't freeze to death. A well, so they can wash themselves. A speaker, so they can listen. Oh, actually... Well, okay, let's make this first. And I'll show you what the hexagon is going to look like. There we go, we've built the basic services. As for religion, humans like Thuri and Kratos, okay. Let's make those shrines real quick. The, the small shrines. Both of them. There we go. And some very basic housing for now. They just need somewhere to s stay in so they don't freeze to death. And all of this is going to be deleted. Once we move on to, you know, hexagonal city. So with this, hopefully they shouldn't leave. Probably need to make a food stall. Actually, before that, they need to make a food source. Because we are going to starve to death if I don't do anything about it. Yeah, that should be plenty of fish. There we go. 68 fish production. If we can you know, 
get this built. Do we have enough wood? I think we do, yeah. 48. Perfect. Drop the workers down to like 40 or something. And if we click here, there's gonna be, yeah, 40 fish a day. We're eating 31 a day. So this should keep us going for quite a long... Not actually that... <laughs> not actually that long. I think this is... Whoa, what are we missing? This feels wrong. I think, yeah, fridge stall. Here we go. Put in a few food stalls right next to the shrines. It's not sh it's not sacrilege, right, guys? All right, people gotta eat. Here. Livestock. Okay. Now with this, surely they should get happy. Just take a look. What else could we whip out? Probably some markets, but actually, hold on. Let's unlock stages. Graveyards. Bloodsport. Maybe paved... Yeah, why not? <laughs> I'm not sure how important those are right now. Probably not very important. Oh, we can't even make stages, that's right. Not right now, because we don't have a carpenter. We'll take a look at a graveyard. Actually, no, no, no. Okay, so at this point in the game, we've secured our food. I think everyone's going to be happy enough to not want to leave. The biggest problem is probably... Let's just make a very basic storage. I think I have... Yeah, here we go. We're designed for that. Actually, that is... Whoops, that's not meant to be that. Need some wood, so we'll just cut it down. There we go. Now we store some fish. So then I'll be like, oh... We actually have something to eat. That's crazy. You know, because uh, for some reason, if it's just on the ground, they don't really realize. <laughs> I guess it's kind of hard to count if it's just... Also, 77 livestock? What exactly does that entail? Like, is it... How are they... How is this stored? I don't know, it doesn't make any sense. Room employee, every service should be... I'll just leave it on employee. Probably shouldn't. But that's fine, and... Uh, I can't remember which one of these. No, that's not the design. What's the building? That we used. Hexagon. Ah, oh, it's this one. Here we go, guys. <laughs> this is the posture, really. Well, there you go. So, this is the hexagon. Now, it looks a bit weird, right? But trust me, once we start interlocking them, it's gonna look sick. Or maybe I'm misremembering and it actually sucks. And that's why I didn't bother making it. So let's turn on planning mode. And we just... Nah, we just whip those out. And then... Build roads around it. There we go, I made the roads around it. So now we should just remove... That. We zoom out. There you go, that's the hexagon. 
Let's copy this area, right? And we'll set it aside into a corner of the map that we're gonna not care about. Just so that we have the design. So probably, it's probably there in the ocean, right? We'll just leave that there. So we can just copy it whenever. Now, what I'm gonna do is just go around like that, like so. Wait, hold on, I can't remember how exactly it slotted in. I think it was like this. Yeah. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah. yep, that's it. And then if we turn off, if we activate it, let's take a look at how it goes. There we go, that's the last few hexagons of this city. One, two, and three. As you can see, like when we zoom out, it, it kind of it's kind of visible. Let's change the color of the roads. Dirt road, and we'll just make it. What's a highly visible color? Red kind of doesn't really stick out. I think green is probably. Ah, you know what? Let's do that. Just for now. Just so we can actually see it. Probably won't keep it this way. Yeah. It should be... Once we whip out a few more, it should shape up. <laughs> Pardon the pun. Yeah, as you can see, like it slots perfectly like that. Boom. Boom. Let's get rid of these starter roads, because, yeah. Because, yikes. Er. Kind of getting in the way of our little gimmick here. <laughs> Get rid of all of that. I should have just spawned in, just removed all the roads, honestly. There you go. Or the faiths. Fix happiness issues. I mean, you should be happy. I don't know what to tell you guys. Just be happy. We're going to make a very successful hexagonal city. Like what do you what do you've said about? Probably because I'm prioritizing this instead of like I don't know furthering the progress of our nation. But how else are we gonna know about where to place our buildings, right? So we zoom out. There we go. Yeah, it's starting to look good. The problem now is that yeah. The I'm gonna need a janitor. It's because the everything's degrading, right? Yeah, let's get rid of the, all of these roads first. I think I have a tiny janitor somewhere. Small design like that? No. Okay, we'll just have to make a new one. It's right here. Oh, that's kind of cursed. A little spaghetti line. I don't think I like this. Wait, hold on. What? There we go. We'll make it out of stone. Wow, okay. Well, apparently, it's gonna let us build all of those roads. I mean, doors. Oh, I just remembered. So what I did in the test city, I made a test city and I actually put fences all around it. I'm not sure how that's going to look. 
And also, I think I messed up here. No, okay. I didn't. Yeah, 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 yeah. I put fences. So if we go into here. And we... First of all, let's get all this... Let's get rid of all of that. I put the fences around like this, I think. Like that, like that. And then we make it diagonal. They made the roads thicker. <laughs> I actually have no clue. Just copy it and uh where should we put it? to make it diagonal so what the fences do is they stop people from just walking through them right so they'll actually stick to the roads they usually stick to the roads anyway but I feel like this is gonna add an aesthetic to the aesthetic of the city and honestly this janitor <laughs> I'm gonna get rid of it sorry guys I just told him to make it but the fences are super important. <laughs> uh, I think... Is that... There you go. What does that look like? I can't remember if it was like... If the roads were only three wide like this. Or what? Or what I did? That's probably fine. And that looks sick. I don't know about you. I don't know what you guys think, but I think that looks, yeah, crazy. If only. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna have to do it manually for the other side. But trust me, once we have this, it'll look so much better. If you're thinking of doing this, by the way, I would not recommend doing it. It's... I don't know, I don't think the game was designed to make other polygons. Or at least non-hexagons. I don't know, maybe one of you guys is like super smart and has a better idea of how to do it. But this is what I found that works. You zoom out. There we go. And now we just copy this over and over. I can't believe that no one's left yet. No one's left the city. Because <laughs> imagine if your ruler was just thinking of doing this instead of like, I don't know, trying to feed you guys. <laughs> I'd be out of there. I'd be gone. Hex are gone. All right, we'll just move the throne out of this little pocket there. So that we can get rid of this. Now that we've built the hexagons, we should probably populate. Yeah, inside them right now. I'm pretty sure things are just degrading, yep. Start with the houses. I, I can't even... How do you even... Build housing for this? Something like that. Oh, this first episode is going to be terrible, guys. Maybe I should skip making the first episode. And I actually can't even... Hold on. I need to leave, leave a gap behind the houses. So that they can go and 
you know, maintain them, maintain the walls. Unless, of course, we want crumbling, crumbling walls. Maybe a normal house? Oof. Apartments? Ouch. Why is it like this? <laughs> Only 35 residents. Residents. Like, I had to do this or something. Probably a better way to do the housing. Fortunately, humans don't care if buildings are round or not. It's here in environment, yeah. They don't really care. Where is it? Roundness, yep. So you can literally make your city look whatever you however you like it to be, and there'll be you know. As long as it's made out of stone, she'll be right. There's the housing. Let's build the dirt roads. Build these roads. <laughs> I can already see the pain of me having to edit this format. Gonna be so bad. Try to do it like yeah, mixed mixed zoning. I'm really just trying to think about like how and there's fifty there's a hundred people so a hundred people can live in this little section there and then We'll build housing and services and stuff for them on this other side. We just have to think about... Like a janitor? Was a janitor here? Just make a janitor. A very basic janitor. So... There we go. I don't really have a vision for the city, because, like... Like, my friends and I, we literally just... We spent one night or something trying to figure out how to build the hexagon itself. That's not on them. That's entirely on me. So I just could not figure out how to do it. Anyway... It's kind of, it doesn't look too bad. Just, yeah, the roads are super bright, obviously. We'll have to change that later. Or, I don't know, maybe I'll keep it. Let's change the name of the city to... Exagonia. There you go. I hope that doesn't mean anything messed up in another language or something. That would not be... Not be terrific. Now we've got that, we should probably, yeah, build some stuff on the other side. Like what? Uh, just build another janitor on that side. There we go. Oh, food stalls. Food stalls and shrines, hold on. Wow, that is a lot of degradation. That's no good. Let's just get rid of... All of these buildings. Oh, look, it's a perfect slot for a shrine. I reckon this shrine here. That side. This shrine on that side. And then... For the food stalls. Wait a second, no, we... No, this... Yeah, it's gonna get in the way. Oh, I could have the food stalls on this side. 
Yeah. And we could open up these gates as well. To allow for better throughput. Right. What? Is that the right word? Better access. Something like that. Come on, brothers. Get a move on. There we go. Oh, and then there's going to be enough room here for, like, the guard post, right? Oh, that's, that's perfect. Question mark. Probably not. Let's... Put a market on the other side, like so. Oh, that's gonna be so nice. I can anticipate it now. Let's get a, let's get rid of these decrepit buildings. We don't need these. I'm gonna move everybody into the new homes. Ah, oh, that, that just cripple our economy. Why is everyone working as a janitor? Okay. That's why you leave auto employee off, guys. Who was the who was the nerd that said to leave it on? Shame on them. Here we go. <laughs> oh okay, so the market needs carpenters. We should probably just make one now. How long is this recording? 20 minutes? The other one was 15 minutes. Do I have... A carpenter design that fits here? I do! I do, guys. Oh. Alright, well, this square is just gonna be... For carpentry, I guess. And on the back, on the back, what do we do? What's oh, the same amount of room? Guys! Wait, this is perfect. So instead of a market here, we could put the markets on that side. And then the food stalls on this. So... Build all the roads. We're gonna we're gonna eventually replace the roads so that they're made out of you know, stone. Oh guys. Hey, what's this market construction? What the hell? <laughs> I meant to build roads. Maybe, maybe my friends and I did, like, try to make some, some of these buildings. Also, we need more people fishing. We don't want to starve to death, do we? Ah, all the, okay, all the fish is in here, that's why. Oh, but we don't, we don't have any storages. I guess I could turn one of the hexagons into like a central warehouse for the other hexagons. This is terrific. I think we have t a bit too much going on though. Oh, we could make these basic... Okay, I'm gonna have to make some sort of weird design for, of warehouses, like along here. Yeah, just so we can... So that we have... A... a bit more storage, right? And we can store materials for the janitors to use. Okay, hold on. Too many people working in the carpenter. Let's drop that down. We're running out of livestock, so what I want to do... We, we like meat, right? Yeah. One of these regions? Where's that hexagon? 
Let's make a... Yeah, let's make the posture. You guys should let me know what you think of this format. I just... Yeah, I really don't like trimming. The video is down. So... It's either this or I stream. But I feel like not everyone wants to watch the stream. First of all, not everyone can make it to the stream. And not everyone wants to watch the VODs, right? What is this? Yeah, I feel like the VODs might be a bit too intimidating for some people. Because they're like hours long. Yeah, I want to make long form content anyway. What do I do here? There we go. I want to make long form content, which is why I'm never making shorts. Again, I used to make them. Like if I make short videos, they're just going to be literal like, trash. I don't like shorts. Because you can't make... Like, if I make a little, quick little guide in a short, you c there's no time controls. You can't go back in the video. You have to rewatch the whole thing. I don't want to have to make you guys sit through that. I think it's very... You know, like... Consumer-friendly. Consumer-friendly. Viewer-friendly. Yeah, I don't like that system. It sucks, okay? So I don't want to contribute to the short economy. <laughs> I'm just waffling at this point. I run out of things to say. Maybe I should have a drink of water. Let's just build the roads. Let's fill out the roads so it looks presentable. I'm gonna need to put the throne somewhere. Oh, look at that, guys. Look at it. Isn't that beautiful? We should... Oh, we should have copied this sooner. Oh, no. We need to copy this hexagon and leave it in a corner somewhere, right? Let's turn on planning mode. Let's remove this from the copy. And then we'll copy this. Wait, hold on. We need to copy the rest of this. Yeah. And we need to leave it in this corner now. Oh, that's the problem, is it? Yeah. That is a problem. Let's leave it in this corner then. There we go. Yeah, the stone fences. For some reason, you can't queue them to be built in the ocean, that's probably because you're queuing to be building a bridge here, right? Whereas on land, we can actually build it. I'm missing some workers. <sighs> we need some more storage. I don't like this. We... Probably end it on a hunter, yeah. Make a hunter the size of this building. Probably. We need some more workers though. Ah, oh, it's because there's so many people in these. Turn that off. Stop storing random crap. I shouldn't have built these markets just yet. I got too excited. They're kind of useless right now. And we need to make this so that we can actually have livestock. But a better source, a better source of meat is, oh, can this go away? I don't have the money, nor the need. Surely they make this, like, come on guys. Yes, okay, they're building it, finally. 
gonna go. If we make a... Oh. Oh, this looks terrible. <laughs> it's so bad. Alright. Alright, that sucks, but yeah, we need to... Okay, I okay. I see why. <laughs> I see why the design is a posture, right? So the posture should be on this side instead. Probably. And we just fill in this center bit. Yeah, we'll put the gate on the other side. <laughs> I hope I didn't mess that up again. Maybe I should cut out those mistakes. Cause that, yeah, that's just a waste of time for people to watch that. What? Yeah, you should probably let me know. Crawling back to you. Four? That's four, that's four. We put on this. No, like so. We build that, like so. Alright, let's try this. We need more workers, but if I take them off of fishing, we're gonna starve to death. Also, why aren't the janitors. I know why the janitors aren't fixing the fisheries because they're too far. There's so many dirt roads in the way. <laughs> that take priority. Now let's suspend this. This is why you shouldn't spam out dirt roads because you're going to need a lot of janitors to keep them maintained. Like, look at that. That's terrible. That's so bad. Come on, guys. Build this janitor so we stop losing fish production. You can't reduce the radius. Some other building. Well, hopefully, that one bloke gets to work. All right, guys, I made the pasture. Just missing some livestock now. That should be, you know, that should make us some decent amount of livestock. Yeah, 0.66 a day. Very nice. Now we just need people to show up. You know, I've got a great idea for that. We just need to make a toilet. It's under health. Lavatory. Where should the toilets be, though? Probably here. <laughs> ah, it's gonna be so weird shaped. <laughs> we can't even build it. <laughs> There's not enough room. <laughs> yeah, I guess we'd have to make a like a service hub in one of the hexagons. That just has like a toilet, a plaza, all sorts of like other services, I guess. Only I had a guide. <laughs> The only guide I made was for gridded stuff. Oh my... It doesn't work, guys. Okay, postures sort of ruin our aesthetic. Yeah. Yikes. Why don't the roads connect to that? Alright, don't worry. We need to make the toilet, though. Alright, let me just copy this. I have a toilet design that's about the same size as this. What's that called? Workshop. But. That's probably a bit much, I'd say. 
Because then, like, we can't fit the other services. So let's get, yeah, let's just get rid of this stuff. All of that. Yeah, let's get rid of everything. I don't think we need janitors there either, do we? Probably not. And we're just gonna make a, a toilet here somewhere. Yeah, like, look at the size of this toilet. It's probably a bit too much. It's gonna service plenty of people, though. After this toilet, I'm going to replace all of the roads with stone roads so that we can actually not need all these janitors. Right? So I have quite a few janitors. Ah, oh, damn, it's I'm trying to make it out of grand walls. I think I made I must have made a I must have made a blueprint in one of my late game cities. From ages ago, yeah. <laughs> Taking people off of fish is terrible. It has... Nah, it's a horrible idea. But we need to make this as soon as possible. And the rate of our furniture like creation is also horrible. Alright guys, we're finally making the lavatory. That took so long. So long. A riot? Alright, whatever. Go ahead and riot. Nerds. Took people off fishing again. Riot over. Yeah, that's what I thought. We just need to make this lavatory and they'll be fine. Hurry up. All right, guys, they made the lavatory. It's gonna skyrocket their happiness. Dude, they're gonna be so happy. Finally have a place to plop. Yes! And grow our population. Let's set that to order to 75, yeah, why not? Oof, that's why not. Because we're running out of food. That's alright. Now, we make stone roads. We'll just convert the main street. Oh, I forgot I was still in planning mode. There you go. Maybe make all of these other roads as well? Yeah. Come on, brothers. Sound of my soul. I haven't changed the color of the the stone roads just yet. Let's, in fact, you know what? Let's change it back. I know it's very sad. Boo hoo hoo! Go away! I don't need you. It's so annoying. I don't know why. This event pops up so frequently in the early game, and then when- the, oh, actually, it's been 11 years, whoops. <laughs> okay, you know what? Maybe my... I think my complaints may be rendered moot. Clear the rocks. Start making the stone roads. Oh, that looks so much better. And our poor little janitors will finally be able to move on with their lives. They can finally do something else other than maintaining these terrible roads. It's gonna take a lot of rocks though. Well, fortunately we spawned ne next to a bunch of rocks, right? Oh, what's going on? We're 
We're on food. This is why you don't leave it on auto, guys. <laughs> I'm telling you. Like, you're, you're actually... You're trolling if you leave it on auto, okay? Alright, dudes, I'm gonna make these very temporary hunters, right? I've disabled the maintenance of these other hexagons. They're going to... Probably degenerate just like the... Steam forums for this game, apparently. Apparently those have gotten bad. But no, I actually look at the forums of anything, really. <laughs> Bit of a weird joke to make. I don't like making jokes about stuff I'm not very knowledgeable on, but yeah. We have the hunters now. And these hunters should start pulling in a bunch of resources, and honestly... Yeah, maybe we should just make a big storage there, because... I have no clue what exactly, like... Like, how much crap we're making. What the... We don't have any... We don't have a we don't have a warehouse this size. No, okay. We need to make a warehouse like this size, honestly. I'm sick of having storage issues, okay? This is going to be like This warehouse is going to be like the 8 terabyte hard drive that I bought recently to fix my storage issues. All right, guys, I built the walls. It looks kind of sick, actually. And now we just Gotta fill in the crates. Probably my least favorite part because I always mess it up somehow. I feel like this this part takes the longest. The best advice I could give here is just to not care about it. You know, just just build it. Just build it. I mean, rather difficult for them to get around, but I don't really care. It's long. It's long-term storage. Okay. It's the difference between an SSD and a hard drive. Like, I'm trying to just store things. It doesn't have to be fast, you know? Okay, guys, this is the warehouse that I made. Yeah, I would say it's the mo not the most efficient design, but I don't really care. Like I said, just for long-term storage, right? Uh, we could definitely go with building more. No, you know what? No. No. No more doors. There we go. We just need to build... Oh, I was going to be so mad if I deleted this. Good lord. I'm going to save again. Let's make some saves. Hexagonia. Alright. I'll build that warehouse and I'll come back to you guys when it's done. It's going to take quite a bit of materials, actually. That's kind of crazy. Oh well. We should have plenty of food now because of the hunters. Yeah, they're pulling in a bunch of meat. And also, I just realized that this is a an Auroch pasture. I meant to build a pig one, so that was a very annoying mistake. Best way to put it. I'll be back once we built this warehouse. All right, guys, the warehouse has been built. Time to tell it what to store. You can just click this number here. Wait, you can click this. It's not a number. It's a little button, right? Plus plus. Just type it in. Let's go with like 25. The basic building materials. Go five for that. We'll go with 25 for everything that we want to store a lot of. There's quite a bit of stuff that needs storage. Mostly, yeah, leather and that. And I'm probably going on... Hold on, let me make that diagonal. I'm probably get going on the industry. Make another hexagon. Auto employee here. Yeah, that dude should has a lot of work ahead of him. 
and all these janitors, I'm going to build out the other hexagons here. In the next episode, we're actually going to fill them with stuff. Let's enable maintenance for the... You know what? Do that. Let's do this. There we go. Enable maintenance everywhere, right? Yeah, we'll just activate all the jobs. And by the end of this, they should change all the roads over. Let's convert all the roads as well to stone. And as for the stone sources, we're going to have to just rely on stuff on the ground, but there's actually a deposit right here. But I don't like mining. It's kind of... yeah. I don't like mining. I'd rather trade for the, the stone. Speaking of trade, we'll probably get that set up next episode. But yeah. I wonder what everyone's gonna think of the hexagonal city once we build it. <laughs> I mean, it already looks kind of sick, right? This square here, I mean, square, what? This hexagon here, though, I have no clue what to put in. Yeah, we'll probably put, like, a little entertainment plaza. Actually, speaking of entertainment... Oh, doesn't fit. Rip. Four. Damn. Well, whatever. Yeah, just build it. We'll probably redesign that next episode. We'll see. We'll see how it, where it goes. Fortunately, we can move these compared to graveyards, which, yeah. Graveyards we definitely can't move. Oh, I'll fill these in nicely. Yeah, look at that. We just need a lot more stone, I think. Should get them. We have plenty of food. Let's let in more people. Like, we have a hundred housing, so... Should be fine. Also, we should turn this on. There we go. I reached Prontex. Now, actually, because this can house, like, a hundred people, but only, f like, 50-odd work in this building. We could probably have one hexagon just filled with jobs. Oh yeah, what if we... What if instead of having this thing here, make it all housing? No, but mixed zoning, yeah, it's better. Don't have to walk that far, but... Let's look at noise. It's kind of bad. I mean, that's... That's not that bad. Yeah, they can sleep just fine. Noise. And then if we just have... Like a plaza that's like super quiet for them to hang out with, with all the benches and stuff. Should be fine. But I would like to have bigger... One of these, right? Workshops. The larger workshops, at least my designs for them, are way... Way more efficient, I think. Yeah, like these ones. Than the half counterparts. I don't know. I guess we could go wild with these. And maybe... Ah, uh, but... No, hold on. Because it looks so weird, like, over here, right? Actually, that doesn't even look that bad. I don't think... I actually don't think they can... I guess they could repair the walls from inside. <laughs> we'll have to find out. I was going to say that... Oof. Okay, it's it's fixing itself. 
What was I going to say? I was going to say that the fences right next to the walls look weird, but they actually they don't look that bad. As long as you have it diagonal, because if you have it rectangular, yeah, it looks kind of iffy. I wonder how I'm going to make the thumbnail for this video. It's probably going to be like a super screenshot of the map and maybe a zoom in view of this. Also, I feel really bad about promising the Garthemi City showcase. I don't know how long people have been waiting for that. And yeah, to be honest, I haven't really touched it either. I don't know, I sort of just got sick of having to build in the mountains. Maybe I should just make the video. I'll just color up the... Like, I'll change the color of the roads and stuff and the walls and then just, yeah, just show you guys the video. Of the city, I mean. Like, it's pretty crazy. It's pretty crazy... City? Question mark? I don't know. I was gonna make this hexagon city first. But then I got a cool map for the Garthemis. We'll see what you guys think about it. I don't want to hype it up. In case you guys get upset that I, like, I, I took all this time to show you it, and it's just like... It just sucks. <laughs> That's probably gonna be the reality. So don't get your hopes up. Alright guys, it's been 103 minutes. I don't think I was playing the whole time, so this is like 90 minutes in. It's been 18 years! That's crazy. And this is the... This is the city here. Well, the town, village thing, whatever it is. It's only 70 odd people in it. First episode of Hexagonia. Hexagon? <laughs> Hexagonia? I don't know. That sounds like a terrible disease, not gonna lie. Alright guys, if you've made it this far into the video, please consider subscribing, it'd mean a lot. I'm trying to reach a thousand subscribers. I guess you can also leave your ideas for what I could do for a thousand subscriber special. Thanks for making it to the end of the video. Authorized by Ocean Man of Oceania.